Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. For this video, we'll be going through an unboxing of a 2022 Starter Commander deck, uh, theme being Grave Danger. And this Starter Commander deck, uh, like a lot of other Starter Commander decks, uh, is from Magic the Gathering, uh, released by Wizards of the Coast. Now being a 2022 Starter Commander deck, uh, it did come out in 2022. Like it came out the tail end of uh, 2022. So just doing a little bit of catch up uh, with some magic stuff before the next set comes out. So I thought I'd try and uh, catch up with some of these Starter Commander decks and some of the other things I haven't had a chance to go through. So here we have one Starter Commander deck, Grave Danger, being a blue and a black. This is one of five, so haven't decided on frequency of release, but there will be four more commander decks to look at. Slightly smaller than uh, some of the theme commander decks, which is good, but in terms of contents, it is about the same. So there we have Grave Danger uh, with a legendary card on the front, well, an image of, uh, being Giza and Garalf. Uh, legendary creature, human wizard. So it should be a very interesting card to look at. Being a blue and a black, I think this would probably be a commander deck that would also intrigue me to play. So that's the front. In terms of the back, just the usual welcome to commander, which is pretty much your commander deck format. And then we do have a bit of a blow about, about this particular commander deck, uh, about Giza and Garav. Sasani? Question mark. Sibling Necromancers of the Plane of Innistrad. Uh, I won't continue going on, but there is a obviously the blurb there. In terms of what we can expect to see inside, 100 card deck, pre-built, deck box, uh, 10 double-sided token cards, reference card, and a strategy insert. So pretty much a stock standard commander deck to get you started. So now that we've had a look at the outside of the box, time to open the commander deck and have a better look at this pre-built deck. And with everything now out of the box. So, um, so here was the insert that we're already used to, well, not so much used to, uh, but it's all from the outside of the box exterior, since that's the actual uh, special card. Before I actually push this to the side, we do have a few of these little push-out tokens that can be used. Uh, six in total. So definitely just keep that in mind before you potentially throw this away. In terms of everything else, now we actually have a bit of a little... I'm going to say it kind of feels fancy. It really isn't. But the, there's the actual card deck in this little holder. Now, how well do these things build? Uh, relatively well. So that is the card deck box. Definitely very simplistic compared to the ones that we see included with the uh, commander decks of an actual proper set release. Uh, but it does have the blue and black colours intermixed around. Magic Gathering logo as I've expected. And um, yeah, so you know, it will definitely hold your 100 cards. So definitely keep that handy because I will probably want to use that later on. And yeah, it comes together fairly nicely. It, it will need the cards in there just to help really uh, take on its shape. So that's the card deck. Um, here are the cards which we'll look at in a minute. In terms of the insert which I will open off screen. So despite the starter commander decks being slightly smaller, the inserts are still very much the same size. So the Grave Danger little reference sheet, uh, how to play the deck and the commander rules, so some nice artwork. 
Now, I never really picked up anything from Innistrad. I do believe it was a bit of a undead vampiric theme, so who knows, I actually might have to try and get a hold of some of those cards. And in terms of the other side, if I can get my orientation right, um, there's still obviously a few more rules about how to play the commander, and obviously I think what they have done is either butchered the printing or things are double-sided. Um, that is the first flight commander deck which uh, I'll be going through in a future review, well unboxing. But anyway, that was the little strategy insert, which I will put away into the deck order. As for the cards, you do have the little reference card, which is pretty much your stock standard. Uh, let's get these double-sided cards out of the way. So there's the actual deck. In terms of these double-sided cards, what do we have? Zombie Army, Zombie Army, the Zombie Knight, the Zombie Knight, another Zombie Knight. Uh, lots of Death Knights on horses. The inside joke, I know. So, okay, that was one side. In terms of the other side, uh, zombie, 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 zombie army. I like how zombie army is literally on the front and back of this particular card. Uh, also, this weird desire to suddenly listen to cranberries. Okay, uh, as for the rest of the deck, so this is pretty much your pre-designed deck. There is your nice little mythic card. Uh, it is a bit of a shiny. Now, this card deck is pretty much going to be a combination of blues and blacks. I suspect there will be land cards in there somewhere. There we go. Um, so we'll get through those as we get through those. So let's see if I can do this in a nice ordered manner. Here we go. I'm already liking the theme of the set already. If I ever was to play an actual commander pre-build, uh, this would probably be one I would actually try and give a shot. <coughs> Uh, this is also a rare card. Ooh, Liliana. Planeswalker. Mythic. Um, a few more rares. So Liliana's Mastery. Liliana's Standard Bearer. Midnight Reaper. Necromantic Selection. Yeah, I'm quite liking the look of this deck. Um, I'm feeling a bit worried how every single card seems to have an R on it right now. Definitely some very nice cards in here. I'm going to try and pick this up a little bit speed wise. Another mythic, human wizard, legendary artifact. By now, I'm actually quite surprised now. I haven't seen. Oh, never mind. I, I take it back. I was about to say I'm a bit worried how I haven't seen any commons or uncommons. Um, but after this record, oh, look at that. I think this is where we start getting into the commons and the uncommons. Okay, so I can probably just speed through this a little bit. So the artwork has become a bit more friendlier. 
Um, but we are looking at some blues. Moving back into the box. I really do like the actual theme of this deck. Some more Liliana cards. <laughs> A card just titled Murder. Destroy target creature. <laughs> Quite amusing. Look like they're going to be a bit of a combination. Blues and blacks. Artifacts. Pretty much just a string of artifacts. Um, looks like we have some special lands. Definitely some very nice artwork. Of course, getting close to the tail end of the deck. And then the basic land. So these are the basic land islands for your blues. Looks like there's two different variants. And then for your swamps. Looks like we've got another two variants as well. I do like that. I think we're all the uh, work in this. Granted, it's a pre build, but interesting to see where some of the uh, inspiration for some of these cards have been from. So, that is pretty much a bit of a look through the. Um, pre built deck. Now, why do I do that one? I thought you got the card there. So that brings us to the end of the unboxing of the starter commander deck of the Grave Danger set. Well, deck is probably the correct terminology. Overall, I actually quite like the look of it. Now, that's purely me just basing that opinion on visual aesthetic. Uh, I have no idea how the actual deck would play. Um, and even if it is a good deck, me being a complete novice, will probably not play it to its full potential regardless. So, um, from a high level cosmetic view, I do like the look of it. Um, and it does now make me want to try and look up uh, some of the uh, Innistrad stuff, even though that was from several sets in the past. So now that we've had a look at the deck, um, pretty much leave it there. But as I did mention at the beginning of the video, there are four other decks to look at. And hopefully I'll uh, speed through some of those uh, a bit more quickly than I have this particular video. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help to support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, uh, link down in the description below. Stay safe and take care, and I'll catch you in a future video, whether it's something magic related um, or something else on the channel. See ya.